What's up everybody, I'm Dakota Mays, and today I'm gonna to show a little bit of yoga and face yoga that's just gonna help with your double chin. So even whether you're skinny or you're a little bit overweight, it doesn't matter, you can have saggy skin or you can have development of too much fat, or it could just be a posture thing. So I do wanna start this video off by letting you know that posture with your shoulders, pulling your shoulders back, and staying away from that head leaning forward, you know, that text neck, like the technology neck that we're starting to de develop in this new world that we're living in. Just rolling it back, Acting as if you're trying to you know, straighten your back neck a little bit gives that gives a nice counter stretch, and then you can come back to your regular posture. So just remember that's one of your main things when it comes to your double neck or your double chin. And other than that, mewing, so keeping your tongue to the top of your mouth, super important for life, and nose breathing. But more on that in other videos. So what we're going to do today is hop into Sphinx pose. So go ahead and lie on your stomach, and your elbows are going to come underneath your shoulders, like so. So we've all been here probably if you've done any yoga class. And what we're gonna do here is usually we're kinda of like reaching our crown of our head forward to be an extension of our spine, our back in that nice decompression. But today we're gonna to reach the chin forward. So what we're gonna do is keep that tongue to the top of the mouth. The tip of the tongue is right behind the, the front teeth but not touching the front teeth. And then make sure you do a little wave with the rest of the tongue, make sure it's pressed all the way up. And as we do that, we reach the chin forward. We listen to this guy on the dirt bike driving by. We say hello. <laughs> you guys can probably hear him. But what we're gonna do here is make an O with our lips. Like that. We have the circular muscle all the way around our lips. We're gonna engage it all. So make that O with your mouth. And we're gonna we're gonna do some yeses here. So reach the chin forward and down. Up and forward. And down. Let's do three more right here. Slow breathing the whole time. And maybe your chin goes a little bit higher with each rep. Feel your neck stretch out a little bit more. Awesome. On this last one, we're going to hold it up. So you're reaching through the chin, feel the stretch through the neck. You keep your lips active in that circle position. You keep the tongue pressed up. Let's do two more slow breaths here. Wonderful, slowly let it fall down. So if you've never done, if you've never done that before, or if you don't do uh, any sort of like martial arts where you're using a lot of neck muscles, that can feel super weird, and I get it. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna add some more drama to it right here, make it more weird. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna slightly, we're gonna reach the chin forward, and we're gonna turn our head to the left first. So we're reaching through this right side of the neck, and almost tilt your head back. And at first you can leave your lips relaxed, just your tongue pressed up, and just feel how that feels, and then switch sides. So then lead your head to the right, feel the stretch through the left part of the neck. Tongue is pressed up to the top of the mouth. Hello, cinnamon. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do is rainbows, and we're gonna do rainbows with that same lip shape. So find your lip shape, and then it's hard to talk while I'm doing this. <laughs> Man, face yoga something else. So what we do is you find that lip shape, and then we're gonna do big rainbows side to side. Keeping the tongue pressed up, keeping the lips activated in that circle position. So we can start from the right side. Big inhale, coming up to the top. And then exhale, falling down to the left side. Inhale back up to the top. Exhaling to the right. Two more full rainbows. And everyone will feel just a little bit better than the last one. You'll feel a little bit connection. And you might even feel a slight burning if you haven't used these muscles ever.
Uh, so finish your last one, and then I'll meet you back at the top in the middle. One full breath here. Tongue pressed up, active lips, reaching to the neck and chin. Awesome, on your next exhale, relax and release. Woo. And all we're gonna do is flip over to our back. So we're gonna flip onto our backside. Now I'm getting sweaty out here. I'm under direct sun, no clouds today. That means we're getting tanned. <laughs> awesome, so we're on our back. So what we're gonna do is lift our head off the ground. So again, if you don't have any like martial arts training where you're using your neck a lot, like combat, usually it's grappling sports. I do a lot of grappling. Man, our necks are just like built different. So I'm trying to show empathy, sympathy, <laughs> all of the above for people. So if this ever like feels like really intense, it's okay, your neck is just weak and it's gonna get there in time. So right here, already in the position that I'm in, I'm utilizing these neck muscles already. So right here, just chilling right here, you're already doing something, right? So what we're gonna do here is at first just reach the tongue to the top of the mouth, press it up, and all we're gonna do is some yeses here. Let's do about five yeses, just trying to reach the chin to the top of our mat, over top of the body, lengthen through the neck. And then exhale slowly, tuck the chin in all the way, if you can, tuck it down to the neck, into the chest. Let's do four more, inhale, reaching up, reaching the chin as far away from the collarbones as you can. Exhale, slowly come back. Keep that tongue pressed up to the top of the mouth. Three more, inhaling. Exhaling. Two more. Breathing through it, using those muscles you haven't used in a while. Or maybe they're muscles you use, we're just strengthening in a different way now. Last one. And on this one, we're gonna hold it here. So as you reach the chin over top, hold it here. And now let's come back to that lift shape. So tongue to the top of mouth, find your lip shape, that circle of the lips. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add one more trick to it for about 10 to 20 reps, is we're gonna go up and down with the jaw while we keep that lip shape. And it looks like this. So it looks like this. Just, just try to do it, you'll feel it. I know it's weird at first. You'll feel a lot of your jaw muscles here, your neck muscles from the side. Start to engage. Go five more seconds. Awesome, one last tuck in, chin all the way to the chest. Woo, we're feeling it. And then come on up. That is plenty. That right there will activate your neck, your face, your jaw, everything. But a lot of what it does but a lot of what it does is it also just moves your lymphatic system around. So a lot of times we just need drainage, we just need drainage in our neck. And maybe it is water retention sometimes. Maybe our diet could have a little bit less processed carbs in it. Those are all side things, but a lot of it is just, you know, water. Our body just needs to move. It just needs to move through the area. And when you don't move through the area, your body can't really, you know, flush what it needs to flush out. So I hope that helps. Remember, mewing, <laughs> nose breathing, <laughs> posture. And then these exercises are just like a cherry on the top. So I hope they help, and I hope you do them every day. You will see a difference, I promise you that. And until next time, namaste.